What's going on, everybody? Stogie Farts here. I got two questions today asked by two different people, and it's basically the same question, and it has to do with tongue burn. So the first one comes from Tom, Tom Dumb, D-U-Y-M, and the other is from Chris Diedrich. Hopefully I pronounced your names right. But they're basically about the same thing. Uh, they start smoking pipes, and then, like Tom says, it starts feeling like his tongue has small cuts in it, and it hurts. He smokes an aromatic tobacco. How can he prevent his tongue from hurting? And Chris uh, Diedrich also says the same thing. Uh, gets a burning sensation. And uh, he asks, how long does it take to build a protective layer on your tongue? Uh, here's a trick for you. Just take a lighter and then uh, light it, stick your tongue out, and just sear it like a steak. And uh, I guarantee you, after that, you'll never have a problem again. Um, don't do that. Uh, tongue burn. Um, I have a couple thoughts on this. One is... And a lot of us always assume tongue burn is because you're getting hot smoke on your tongue. And that obviously is one of the reasons why. But I think another reason why, which uh, maybe I've never heard anybody talk about before, um, but I think might be true, is a lot of times certain tobaccos, they change the pH of your mouth. Uh, they make it seem, or it definitely feels more acidic. And some of you might recognize that after you smoke a pipe and then you drink certain liquids, it tastes like battery acid. Uh, why is that? Well, I feel it's because the pH level in your mouth reacts differently to, obviously, different things. And sometimes I think an aromatic tobacco in particular could change your pH level in your mouth to where it reacts differently. Now, let me give you an example. Have you ever gone all day without eating? And then all of a sudden, you your first bite of food, whether it be whatever it is, just something really flavorful, you put it in your mouth, and then it just almost hurts, like your salivary glands just like, shh, like just go ape shit, and you just go, oh man. Because you're, 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 you're getting a, a taste, a sensation in your mouth that completely changes the way your mouth was prior to that going into your mouth. Sometimes I feel that's like that with pipes and certain pipe tobaccos where, you know, it's, it's, it's affecting your mouth. Maybe not so much in a temperature heat sort of differential, but a pH differential. And that could also be experienced like a bite, like a, like a tongue bite, like, you know, something that hurts because all of a sudden, you know, your mouth is getting this direct shot of something, something foreign in it that it, it reacts differently to. I don't know. That's just random thoughts that I've been playing around with, but, uh, how do you prevent it? Um, I do a couple different things. Uh, when I smoke my pipe, I will rotate from this side to this side. So I'm going to have to light my pipe again. But, you know, I might smoke, you know, a few puffs on this side. Relax. Switch. That way you're not getting everything just in one part of your mouth. Uh, the other thing, it also depends on the pipe. It depends on the stem. Some stems uh, have more of a, a little small hole that just funnels the air directly like an arrow to wherever it's pointing. Uh, this is a pipe that uh, was made by uh, Paul, Paul's Pipes, Paul Menard. And his stem is very nice. It doesn't have a little tiny dot that shoots it. It actually looks like it's uh, flared out. So the smoke kind of goes over the tongue and not directly on it like a dagger right into it. So that helps. So sometimes it's just the pipe, you know. Shorter pipes have less time for the hot smoke to travel from here up the stem into your mouth. It just goes right from, you know, the, the longer your stem, the cooler the smoke is going to be. So that can help too. 
You know, if you constantly have trouble with tongue bite, try a longer stem or a longer pipe and not such a shorter pipe. Uh, what else was I going to say? Rotate. Oh, smoke slower. Don't take big, long puffs and don't puff real fast. You know, don't be sitting there just puff, 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 puff. Just kind of slowly let it draw in a little bit. Let it come out. Rotate. You know, it's just all about management and also being mindful of how your mouth feels. You know, if it's starting to hurt, if it's starting to, you know, if you're starting to feel like it's a little painful, take a break. Another thing, uh, which I often do, have a drink, um, drinking water, um, but, you know, it helps soothe the mouth. <sighs> Did you know your brain is made out of 80% water? Um, yeah, also I'll take sips of water, kind of refresh the mouth a little bit. And that's it. I mean, and it also is just experience. You know, you're going to find certain tobaccos bite more than others. If you find one that really bites and you think it's the tobacco, try a different one. See if it changes it up. If you try a different one and, and, and it's better, go back to the first one. Does the first one give you tongue bite again? Well, then you know it's the tobacco. If the first one's suddenly fine, then you know you're building up a tolerance and it's, you know, maybe you're smoking differently. You're trying some of these techniques that I'm showing you, you know, mixing in some cool drinks and stuff like that. And, you know, you just, you just build it up and that's it. So hopefully that answers your question, guys. If you guys have any other questions, just ask stogiefarts at gmail.com. I'll get to it as soon as I can. And uh, you got anything else to say? Apparently not. Talk to you later.